Hey everybody, Adam Savage here. I'm at Spectral Motion in LA with Dave Anteleg, and we are gonna talk photogrammetry today. Absolutely. Okay, so tell me how photogrammetry works into Spectral Motion's process. Absolutely, so we were doing a, a laser light um, scanning first. Um, it's where you use a, 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 the device where it flashes you with light, mm -hmm. and it's almost like a crappy camera. So it's doing about 30 frames per second, mm -hmm. and it's scanning you and getting depth information from its imagery. And so through that, it creates a point cloud. And through that, then we can put flesh on it um, and uh, mesh it. And this is the way it currently works? Yes. Okay, so I, didn't, I thought photogrammetry was sort of a, 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 a assembling a knowledge of depth data based on the accretion of photos. Absolutely. But you're describing something slightly different. A little different. And I believe you were once scanned at a place with your astronauts. Yes. I, yes. Yeah. And in that, it has 87 cameras, about 100. And mm -hmm. so my technique is uh, a, little, a little more modern because technology has grown and with this camera we can do a burst shot huh. and it will track you as it's shooting and so what that means is this can shoot 30 frames per second and it's saving the spatial data of exactly oh. yes and so what we do we have this camera right here it's called the anchor camera and so this stays as it is and as you sit here it will record a perfect 360 of you steady mm -hmm. as i do my wave pattern and collect data from your top to your middle to your bottom. We compile that up. So these two cameras, when you're doing that, are clear about where each of them is in exactly. XYZ space and exactly. where they're pointed. Yes. Whoa! Yeah, no, it's very cool. And so you can have up to, depending on how many revolutions you do, you could have up to a thousand photos of data with your face, the pores, the irises, the hair, the everything. So you're able to get incredibly exactly. fine point data. Yes. <gasps> Yes, the oh, point cloud really is, cool. is stunning, so. Um, can, uh, I was told that you might scan me. I would love to, I've been high scanned, definition. I, I can't, there's never too many scans yes. of one's own head. Absolutely, please. <laughs> we will step into. Oh, I love how simple yes. this is. It's very simple, you know. Absolutely, That's beautiful. so much less of a software load. Exactly. On what you've gathered. Exactly, and pr the post-processing is almost nothing because we get such a clear high definition. So it's like, it's throwing out a lot of its data, just getting the yes. depth data. Exactly. Oh man, does it know that it's, does it uh, prioritize based on the focal point so it gets rid of all this data? Absolutely, yes. So my focal point is um, exactly from your nose to your ear and it, it just forgets about everything in the back. Fascinating. Yes. It's really cool. It's fun. It also, yeah. is that large format, the sensor? It or? is large format. You notice it's the Fuji large format. I totally <laughs> have a camera nerd. <laughs> yes, and that's why it makes a great anchor camera because it just takes the most clear photos of you right. while I you know, do my wave pattern and get everything else. Gotcha. All right. All right. Rip. Boom, ready? Rip. In, so you'll be nice zen mode. You can do eyes closed or open, but I'm going to do them you? open. Excellent. Okay, Adam. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. Beautiful and cut. Wow. So we blasted you with about 500 plus photos. High resolution, amazing. 50 megapixel. 50 megapixel. Now I have a question. If you're gathering uh, point cloud data at that fidelity, yes. then there's certainly gonna be artifacts from my breathing that have to get averaged out, am I right? You're absolutely correct. Fortunately, this program, a reality capture, negates that movement. It negates breathing. And also this camera compensates for breath. What? It's insane. 
That's totally insane. It's so how, cool. did, how, how do you know roughly how it compensates for? Brett? Yeah, it 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 has this um, AI within the camera itself. Oh wow! So this is the first generation with the Sony that uses the AI, and it actually can compensate your breathing. Oh, so it's seeing. It's being able to pick up that micro movement yes. in real time. In real time. And change its, oh my God. Translated into our program, it averages out. Right. And it says, okay, well, Adam, his chest is expanding just a little in about 30 photos. It's this way in about 100. It averages out and it's. Now I know that a lot of times you're making stuff, you're making stuff to fit on bodies. You're making hard yes. objects to fit on soft bodies. Absolutely. So have you come across any cases in which uh, it falls down a little bit. Like it does, it's not a perfect fit or you have institutional knowledge of adjustment that you need. I have institutional knowledge of adjustment <laughs> and also um, with our laser scanner, we uh, do scale. So we'll s the real process will uh, have you over to the, the laser scanner and just quickly scan your ear. Because that's really hard to pick up from what's a monitor. Exactly, gotcha. so we import the laser data into our program, perfectly match your point cloud and you, you become, uh, you can, Print out a mask, wear it, done. Amazing. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's it's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, and uh, we actually did a, a 3D print of Bill here, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it turned out absolutely fantastic, stunning. It works yeah. on Tuesdays, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to exactly. Photogrammetry Tuesdays, absolutely. Uh, that's really. How long have you guys been using this technology? Um, so basically, I come from a long line of uh, photogrammetry companies. Okay. And I just. I just couldn't stand, you know, Mike was so wonderful. He says, you know, here's a massive budget. We need a cage, we need a hundred cameras. And I say, Mike, I don't think you do, you don't. <laughs> and he was so generous. He just let me do my system. Amazing. And it just turned out he's very happy and so will you be. So how long is the process of processing that scan? Absolutely, so we'll take our um, data set and we'll put it into uh, the reality capture software. The point cloud takes about 10 minutes uh -huh. to generate to put a high definition mesh on you, about a half an hour. Okay. Texture information, about another 20 minutes. Oh my God. So it'll, you'll bake in about under an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can send us that data. Absolutely, oh we'd be God, happy to. I can't wait. We'll even 3D print you out. Amazing, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, Adam, so we have oh. your 3D print of the scan <laughs> yes. that David and uh, his team down at Spectrum Motion did of you. I am super fascinated to see how this looks. Right off the bat, there's so much more texture than I have seen in other scans. Uh, it's like the topography of my skin and my wrinkles is spectacular. It was really funny to pull up the model because it was a textured model, right? They sent yeah. not only the geometry, but also the imagery of your skin. So right? it's grabbing both of those at it's the same time. It's grabbing both of those. And you know, if you remember when he was doing the scanning, it was the single camera, that parabola motion. Yeah. Uh, I was a little skeptical, I have to admit, but it gets it, your face all the way there. Indeed, no, the face is, it's incredibly recognizable. It's yeah. very, there's a lot of personality there. Um, the hair falls apart a little bit, but yeah. that's not the core competency of this scanning technology anyway. And we've seen plenty of scans mm -hmm. that people have done of you, and hair is a tough thing to scan. Yeah. It's a tough thing to Like resolve. our friends at FBFX do that thing where they have a very modeled way of exactly. executing hair. Right, you basically have to kind of remodel yeah. it from scratch. I love seeing this noisy hair, noisy digital, yeah. right? Uh, you can, this is exactly how you imagine like a, a point cloud looking at a computer, and it, I thought it was really cool to see it realize I physically. totally do too, and there's a way in which, because my hair hasn't been stylized, it feels very <laughs> much like you're looking at a clay sculptor. Uh, yes, yes, very much. Oh yeah, and the way I'm looking at it from different angles, yeah, it, they did a great job. They really did. Yeah. Um, and the whole thing is without a massive array of cameras, yeah. a single camera, I mean, we always, the old axiom of having more, having more tools just reduces the amount of time you need, but they're adding time and technique with a very modern, powerful single camera, and that's a pretty cool result. That single camera is amazing, and they're using this to create physical bodies for working on prosthetics, right? Yeah. Yes, right, yes. so it's a very different use case than maybe building a whole costume off of the thing. Yeah, absolutely, it's the modern life cast. Yeah, um, I, this, we did this before off camera, but 
Like, hey. It's just, <laughs> that's, that's my body half scale, that's my head half scale. They seem to work as appalling as it is to see them like that. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> we're, we're gonna add this and the file to the collection of Adam Scans. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Uh, that, given how simple that process was, I there's so much amazing detail in this. I'm really impressed with the technology. Yeah, very cool. Thanks to the team at Spectral Motion for having us, yeah. for giving us this demo, and for adding another Atom Scan to our collection. So much fun. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I would be remiss if I didn't tell you we have some excellent merch. We have a five pack of demerit badges for sale right now at tested slash store.com. We've got the I hung it off of level demerit badge, the I built the chair backwards demerit badge, the I hit my thumb with a hammer demerit badge. We've got the stapler in my finger demerit badge and my favorite, I stuck the duct tape to itself demerit badge. Get yours now, tested slash store dot store dash store, tested dash store. Tested. It's right here, there, just click that. <laughs>